Hi everyone, my name is Andy Hegenstaller. I'm the Digital Services Manager for Minnesota and Wisconsin. I'm here today with field agronomist Josh Schaffner to talk a little bit about the nitrogen, the field nitrogen monitoring capability of Encirca Pro. Obviously, most growers are going to look at nitrogen decisions as one of the most important they make each year, due in part to the fact that nitrogen is going to be one of the top production costs for corn production. The other side of that is nitrogen is also one of the most uncertain and difficult nutrients to manage because it's highly dynamic in the soil and due to weather, precipitation, and temperature in particular, determines how much nitrogen is available to the crop, and in some cases, the amount of fertilizer we apply isn't always available. This year in Minnesota and Wisconsin, we're seeing weather that's going to drive a lot of differences in nitrogen management decisions from one place to another. In, in general, folks in the southern part of Minnesota and Wisconsin are looking at far above average spring precipitation, which is going to translate to nitrogen losses. In contrast, in the northern parts of both states, we're seeing drier than average uh, um, conditions and warm temperatures that are going to probably lead to low nitrogen losses and good soil nitrogen supply. So that's why the Encirca Pro app includes within it a feature to help us monitor soil nitrogen for corn and make those decisions in real time about whether we need or don't need to make additional fertilizer applications. In a nutshell, what Encirca Pro Nitrogen does is use weather and soil information to model the supply of soil nitrogen as well as the, to model the demand by the corn crop, bringing those two things together to help make the best decision for fertilizer. So what Josh is going to talk a little bit to us here in a minute is about how to use Encirca Pro to make in-season nitrogen decisions. I'll just remind everyone uh, right off the bat, though, that we have another video out there uh, by two other members of our team talking a little bit about how we set a field up in Encirca Pro to be able to get to that nitrogen monitoring information. But maybe, Josh, you could talk a little bit about how we use uh, Nitrogen Pro once we've got a field plan in there. Yeah, so when we get into the Encirca Nitrogen Pro app, this is just a screenshot looking at a field. And, and it's giving you a lot of different colors. There's Andy there. And really, it's important to understand what that's telling us from a color standpoint. So where we see the green, that's telling us that, okay, we're probably got enough nitrogen to get us through there, that we, we have maybe a little bit of excess to, you know, based on that yield goal as we get out to that tassel time. When we get into um, the yellow, uh, that's going to say it's probably sufficient N as we get out to, to VT. And where we're red, that's going to tell us that we're probably running a little bit short and we're not going to have enough. Uh, as we look into that percent, in this case, it's saying 62% of a, of a chance to be success at VT to R1. Basically, as, as that's looking forward, it's telling us that based on historical weather data, uh, 12 of the past 20 years, that field would not have had enough. It's not saying that we're not going to have enough, but based on historical weather, we're going to have to monitor it pretty close and that we, we may come up short at the end. So those are just a few things that the app are trying to tell us. Uh, but the other thing, Andy, is when we look at that 62%, it's still only telling us that likely on historical weather data, we're going to be just eight pounds short. Yeah, at eight pounds short, you might not make a, a major change to that. But again, as the weather changes throughout the season, day by day, it's going to give us updates. And that's the power of the Encirca app. If we look at this specifically, Andy, you talked a little bit about the weather and just how variable it's been across the upper Midwest. In this case, I'm looking at just an example of one operation. On uh, one case, we got a planning date of, of, of May 19th. The other case, we got a planning date of April 30th. But look at the amount of rainfall since planning. Uh, the, the May 19th, just two inches of 2.02 .02 inches of rain since planning. We look at that, that April 30th, we've had 7.17 inches. And you think about where we've applied nitrogen, you know, that nitrogen on that early planning, not a lot of uptake yet, not a lot of root development. Mm -hmm. We've had a lot of rainfall in that case, where in that case, we may have to take a, a look at what's really going on. So we just kind of look at some other examples here of, you know, in this case, you know, how does this app work? Okay, on the first one on the left there, uh, we just kind of got the, the plan in there. We did an initial estimate um, back last fall. In this case, we might have some manure history. We did an application, a flat rate with some variable rate uh, actually up front. Uh, in this case, you know, percentage wise, we're sitting pretty good, Andy, but I will say this is a farm that historically one application is usually going to get us through there. We look at, you know, um, one, one pre-plan application, we're going to make it. We're sitting here June 1st already. Not that we're in bad shape, a 94% chance. And depending on the weather, we're going to have to monitor this as we get to, a, um, you know, V6 and, and beyond to say, okay, are we going to make it or not as the rainfall changes? And the other thing that's nice about it, Andy, is let's just say we got some zones that are saying, hey, maybe we're going to run short. Having that satellite imagery to go with that, it yeah. helps us confirm that. Do we got some areas of the field uh, that the nitrogen model is saying, hey, you know, we might want to take a look at this. That imagery helps us validate that. And if both are telling us that, get boots on the ground, go take a look at, okay, bam, we may need to go out there. And to me, Andy, I kind of view this as this evolves as, you know, when I go out and I forget my smartphone, I feel like I'm pretty much lost. 
as this evolves and I get out to these fields that we look at these heavy rainfalls, when you don't have this information to fall back on, it's just a guessing game. And I think as we move forward, Andy, it's going to be hard for operations as we expand and have variable farms. And we look at how variable our weather is becoming. Uh, the power of this tool just gets stronger and stronger every year. Awesome. Thanks, Josh. I think that's a really good point you made as well about the nitrogen and that imagery really helping us be even more confident because when one provides the same type of information as the other, we're really sure what we've got going on there. So thanks for your time today. I'll just remind everyone, we really focused on the nitrogen monitoring today, one of the really powerful features of Encirca Pro. But as Josh alluded to at the end of his discussion there, we also have satellite imagery. We have the ability to enter planting plans, and we can also track that field by field weather, which you also showed. So if you haven't had an opportunity to do so yet, I encourage you to take a look at Encirca Pro. And if you'd like to learn more about it, just talk to your local Pioneer sales professional, and they can get you set up pretty quickly. Thanks a lot, Josh. Thank you.